Be careful if you're going into the Rose. It's a favorite hangout of crime bosses and tax collectors. Really? You wouldn't expect that from a place like this. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. Let's not stay here for long. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Cool. The coterie Kirkwall is built on a solid foundation of greed and human suffering, and this underworld is a place where everything is for sale and everyone is fair game. There are many criminal empires within the city, some of which have been around since the Imperium and used in uh, used Kirkwall as a hub in the slave trade. Alliances, spy, manipulation, betrayal, and open warfare is all commonplace in the never-ending struggle for power and joy. The Coterie is a thieves' guild that has been around for almost a century, but until recently it was never a major player in the underworld. Some 20 years ago, the strongest of the local criminal empires was an ancient guild known as the Sabrathan, but its leader was betrayed from within, and during the turmoil, the Coterie made a successful grab for power. Okay. Since then, they've sunk their claws into almost every level of Kirkwall, including the City Guard, the Dwarven Merchants Guild, and some of the most influential citizens in the city. It's safe to say that the Coterie gets a slice of every pie, and very little goes on in Kirkwall that escapes their notice. Again, Jenna TV. It's a nice enough place, I suppose. Just trying to get a feel for it, really. Like, I mean, these aren't these aren't Ian's type of people. They're thieves and rogues. Not that I dislike rogues. I like Varric well enough, but I just don't know it, and that sort of like puts me out of my comfort zone. Why I'm choosing to wander through like the back is beyond me. Are these elves? Maybe I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely shouldn't be <laughs> backstage. Like, just ignore me. Sorry, guys. I'm well at my depth here. Let's go into the main room. This is more like it. Ready. Fuck we'll off, guys. Um, Madam C. Man, everybody, everybody. The merchandise is up front. Ha! <laughs> Brothel joke. Be, Sir <laughs> the Anderfells. Coming right up. The Anderfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in all the world for two blights have left great expanses of the steeps. So completely devoid of life that corpses cannot even decay there. No insect or grub will ever reach them. It is a land filled with wonders like the Merdane, with its gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face, her hands outstretched and bearing an eternal flame, or, or Weisept Fortress, the Grey Worn Place, with its walls of living rock towering over the desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are a people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest nation in the world, and the most feared. He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. Asian, Let's speak to the madame. Ferelden, are you? I'm over here. We are not a charitable organisation, Sarah. Goddamn. If you cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. <laughs> Is that clear? How? Two sovereigns for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. Fifty silver and someone may touch you. Briefly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, look, no thank you, but... Why does everybody know I'm a Ferelden just by, like, by the cut of my jib? Is there a look to it? I thought we all looked pretty much the same. I'm not interested. Of course you aren't. Poverty had nothing to do with your decision, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't be rude, ma'am. Oh, Gamlin, hello. I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. Well, that I'm in here. I'm just here checking up on you, and no amount of... <laughs> And my mother is... Well, whatever. Whatever. I have no idea where that thought's going. Welcome to the Blooming Rose. Personally, I wouldn't say it's blooming precisely, <laughs> but the name's not my choice. You're a terrible bartender. <laughs> I'm gonna welcome, to, welcome to the Blooming Rose. Shit name, isn't it? <laughs> Don't dry our beer. It's fucking terrible. It's like swill. Also, I'm pretty sure our prostitutes all have venereal diseases. Varric. Do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk. Is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. <laughs> like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. Good talk, yo. 
Um, there really isn't anything here for me with particular interest, is there? Nice place and all. But again, I'm like just, I'm just putting the feelers out really. Exploring, making sure that I'm familiar with every place that I would have explored at some point during the year. Mm. The Thieves Guild is important enough to take note of. Whoa. Hello, guards. You're not guards. You're mercenaries. Are you Red Iron? I'm not here. I was never here. Right out. Let's boogie. Let's boogie out. Whoa. Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> Let's go and do some stuff. I think we should head into Darktown for this one. One sort of area that we haven't to explore. What is this? Mark that quest. Where's that? Where would that lead me? Nowhere. I don't know what that is. We have some companions quests, the way it should be. Take Amelie into the ambush hiding along the pass of Sundermount. Location of the balance will only be clear if she is present. Okay. Well, let's go get Birthright as well. Like, I feel... I feel like we've been in Gamelin's place for, like, way too long. Um... Rumours. Ah! Back sources and large number of Templar raids held in Little Town's Elven alienage. You can't verify why, however, who's been giving the orders. According to Varric, a group of mages being transported from Starkhaven hasn't arrived at the gallows. It's currently just a rumour, however, and can't be followed up on at this time. Enemies. According to Varric's sources, someone's been asking questions about a missing Templar. No search seems to be underway, however. Nothing can be done to follow up. Thank you. Varric says a dwarven merchant named Javaris, I sounds familiar, has been offering a lot of coin for muscle. Finding out exactly where Javaris is, however, seems to be a problem. He'll keep looking. Varric has heard rumours that some in the Chantry have been mark making quiet inquiries around Lowtown about the Kunari, who we haven't run into yet. Uh, no one seems willing to talk about it, though. Let's go do Birthright. We've been living with Gatman for far too long. Dog. Even though I'm not particularly, like... I'm not bothered about living in nobility, but I would like to live in, like, a place which is ours. Uh, so let's... Let's go to Lowtown. Uh, Darktown. Hmm, charming. Like, this area isn't even, like, explored. Be careful down here. I'm, I don't expect to be outright attacked, but you never know. I feel marginally more comfortable stealing from the even... Oh, jeez, man, let's place. Okay. Hop in shield defense mode. It's gonna get hairy here. Aveline, you and me. Okay, he disappeared. Move on. You are not doing any good there. Neither of you are. Um... Where's Varric? There he is. Get clear. You two. Fire that guy. Okay, and that guy. You just keep casually walking by a battle. I have adjusted their tactics, so they should be doing, like, pretty well. Uh, no. I need to select that, and we need to prioritize fire. We're getting flanked, I think. Hold that guy's not... He probably is a rogue, so we're getting backstabbed. Get back here. Come back! Nice work. There. Okay, well that was good. Mugged already. It's nice down here. The guards don't get here often enough. Nice. A little bit towards our um our target. You wouldn't survive the trip back, blight or no. Tom Wise. Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. I haven't seen you since Mirren hired me for that red iron job. Been a while. Yeah. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads. And right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? <laughs> it's a living. We can't all make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? The red iron's been scarce. And business has been a little slow. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. Okay. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Yep. Cool. 
Yep, ordering poisons now. That's cool. Good to have. Um, let's see. You show admirable restraint, Bethany. For a mage, you mean? I could also say for a hawk. <laughs> but yes, for a mage. You have a sword. Why aren't you killing someone right now? Fair point. But I can put my sword down. Believe me, I have tried. What a sad twist to the conversation. Okay, guys, back in the mall. Right, where am I and what am I doing? I take a break. I had manly needs to attend to. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, wow, this place is labyrinthine. Let's just loop around. I'm sort of curious about this area and, uh, you know, clear out a bit of thuggishness while we're at it. Okay, let's get this guy. Yeah, knock him down. You know, I haven't messed with Aveline's tactics yet, but I think I'm going to add a wee tactic. Just because I think, in general, um, if she is going to be kind of like backup tank, then what I want her to do. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Um, doo -doo 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 being attacked by melee attack? Nope. Being attacked by blah, blah, blah. Just use um, enemy, target of party member, target of hawk. Do use that as like an attack. And that could be like your last thing just to have it. Just to make sure that we are on the same page. Get him. There you go, we can focus fire that way. Bring him down quickly. Okay, that he's going back there. We need to get his attention back. I have taunt, right? Come back here. What's the point in taunt? <laughs> Bethany, dearest, you care to fireball then, please? Good time to knock that guy back. What's going on back there? Okay, everybody, go get that guy. Just do the thing. You are not enough. Never on our bad side. Seems to be unhealthy. Hmm? Oh, we just attract that. It's my face. Like I'm the only guy in the kingdom with no hair and nobody likes a bald guy. You're right. They have meat in High Town. I smelled it once. Well, that is actually kind of sad. Rule of thumb. If the criminal runs to the sewers, he's gone. Really? What a defeatist attitude. Bit of death rate. Um, I don't really care to read that for now. This is older than sister was. Was? Again. Sad. Danzig. A mage? Mind your manners. This is my territory. Oh, are you a boss, are you? Boss man. Your guards have cool looking helmets. I appreciate that at the very least. Okay, so this is very much your th your bid, isn't it? Sister Plinth's... Huh? The remains of Sister Plinth. Hmm. Oh, man. Damn, son. That's, that sucks for her. Like, Chanter or not. Well, I mean, like... They still think they're doing nice things. There's value in that. Certainly don't deserve to just die. Rather be free down here, I guess. I mean, do you feel particular? Is there a particular oppression up on the surface? I'm actually less inclined to steal from these guys. I think. Here we go. Codex entry by Dark Town. Dark Town was once a mine controlled by the Deventer Imperium. Once exhausted, the mine shafts were extended under the city to dispose of sewage from Kirkwall's overcrowded population of slaves. Unsurprisingly, the tunnels became a refuge for those fleeing captivity. A similar trend continues today. The Undercity, as some calls it, 
call it, is home to the diseased, the insane, to criminals, and even to the dead. Unwanted corpses are often discarded here by murderers and lazy undertakers. Darktown slums make Slowtown look pleasant in comparison. The full miasma known as choke damps clogs and swells in every corner of the Darktown, creating a poisonous mist. Its sewers are a dangerous place. The walls are damp, slick, and coated with phosphor and lichen. The sewer is a maze, and one foolish enough to enter is not likely to be heard from again. Man, this place. It's just really, it's really distinctive. Um, Cody Rogue. Well, I mean, this is a body, right? Hang on. This is a pile of money. Did somebody die over here? Whatever, I'm taking it. To Fincher Imperium. I guess down here. You kind of know about this, but there you go. Enjoy. The guards don't get here often enough. Or at all, it seems. Did I come up this way? Yeah, I did. Now I know where I am. It's not much of a maze at this point, luckily. Picking through the droppings of High Town. Hmm. What's this? Gather your party. There's a lot of these places. Well, it's kind of weird for a start that Bethany isn't at the back. She was meant to be. Um, let's try and see if I can... Again, it puts her to, like, the side and Aveline to the back. Is this just the way that things work? Can I maybe reorder it? It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> what, are you just organized alphabetically? Yes, apparently so. I mean, that's a bit of a pain. Like, why just have it laid out like that? Like, what what, what are the, even the priorities? I think this is the cellar door. Let's go in and see why Gamlin lied. Cellar door, cellar door. Okay, what is this up here? There's a thing. I can't do that. Okay, it's a mystery for now, I suppose. It's boogie. Up into old home. Which I suppose I never knew. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have known this. Mm, looks crap so far. Retrieve the will from the family vault. Well, I'm not making any, like, sneaking in armor like this. Crikey. A history of car- Whoa, chapter one. I might read that when this is done. Slave guard. Any of you particularly squishy? No, okay. Let's finish this. Aha. Hey, who's this? They're squishy is who they are. In their friendly fire on that fireball, dear sister. God damn, this guy's tough. Evelyn, come back. There we go. Focusing fire on that one with Bethany, sort of like laying into them as well. That was a lot faster. Cool. Okay, History of Kirkwall. I'm actually pretty interested, even though I feel like I, I kind of know it a bit of it already. Okay, but it's difficult. It's difficult for many to comprehend today, but there was a time when Kirkwall was believed to be very edge of the world. It was Amirius then, named after the founder magister Amirius Cravan, and it was but one outpost on the very fringe of the Tevinter Imperium. There, the Magister's serfs worked the quarries for the jet stone needed for the mighty Templars of Minrathus. Min yes. After a slave rebellion nearly burned the temple to the ground in the great city, it was determined that a centre for the slave trade would need to be established well away from the more civilised parts of the Imperium, though this account may be exaggerated, since the notorious Archon Venerius Isar narrowly escaped assassination at the hands of an elven slave at the time. Because the new slave outpost would become wealthy beyond imagining, competition among prospects reportedly took over 20 years to resolve, resulting in great bloodshed in the frontier, well away from the Archon's eyes. Magisters took arms against Magister, mostly in the form of small armies of serfs and mercenaries. Over half the slaves in existence allegedly died in these battles before Amirius was finally chosen, thanks to the marriage of a craven's son to the Archon's daughter. Hmm. Within a mere decade, 
The mighty fortress was erected on cliffs where Kirkwall now stands. Over one million slaves passed through its gates before the Imperium eventually fell, an unimaginable number by today's standards. The Craven family itself became patrons of the next three Archons and was one of the driving forces behind the extension of the Imperial Highway into the Ferelden Valley, a move that would cost them considerable political influence after the resistance of the Alamari tribes. During its height, Amiris was a jewel to rival the mightiest of the Imperial cities and the greatest centre of civilization outside of Winter. Inshallah. See, these guys I have no problem lo looting. Fancy poison ring. Well, that's that's just loot. <laughs> a poison ring is just loot? I find that unlikely. Bit of slave guards. Nothing too leery. Let's head up these stairs. This place on the map doesn't look too big. I suppose it's not going to be like... Whoa. Assassins lurk on the edges of fights, striking from the shadows before slipping away again. Be wary as they often prey on those with least formidable armor like mages and rogues. Good to know. At least it's Whoa. Who's this guy? I like that shield bash, by the way. Again, sister, fireball. We gotta, gotta work on that. Ow. Oh, backstabbing. Very nice. This feels like it's going well. Torn slaver invoice. Really, a torn bit of paper that's actual worthy loot. <laughs> Somebody went through this. Somebody said, what's the type of thing that's just loot, like random stuff? Then again, I don't know how much it sells for us, so never mind. Uh, actual chest with frayed rope, like you do, and a portrait of my mother. Hmm. Bethany might be interested in the old portrait of her mother. Speak with her about it back in Galen's house. You know, they appear to have, like, stripped this place down to the bones. Like, Kirkwall or not, is this what a noble's estate is meant to look like? It just looks like some warehouse. Okay, there we go. Now back. I don't like that he can't just attack them. Ow, oh, what the feck? A web? Why? Sister, you really gotta work on that. Okay, just keep gang up on this one. Bethany, are you okay? Uh, you're, you're generally alright. Nobody's health yet? Maybe I can get it on Abilene. Early and often, as they say. Okay, we are being flanked to buggery. Can everybody just get back in this corridor, please? You and Aveline, get to the front. <laughs> Bethany, what the hell are you doing over there? I pulled you back for a reason, dude. I'm trying not to get two backstabs. I really need that flanking thing. All right, why don't you shield bash this asshole? Um, or at least pommel him. Yeah, that'll do it. You two, turn on this guy. Bring him down whilst he's distracted. Uh, he's against Barrack, but he is not doing too bad. Again, I don't like it that it doesn't show the guy's health when I mouse over them. I have to actually look down at the screen. At the bottom left of the screen, I should say. There we go. Okay, somebody should pull that guy away from Varric, I suppose. Would you mind? That doesn't appear to be doing too much. All right, Varric, your actual, um, your thing of moving away is causing us no end of problems. It's just moving the, it's making the battle unmanageable. You need to not be doing that. Your thing is ranged. You're not meant to be moving away from these things. Uh, let's put you in, def in default for now, I suppose. Okay, Bethany, you need to come back because Varric is just sort of fit to move the fight away from where it's manageable. But that is a good place to do that. In the corner. Hawk, move away. There you go. With apologies to Varric, but you kind of deserve that. <laughs> 
Feel free to move back there, Beric. There we go. You do get results, don't you? It was actually pretty tough. Well, again, I'll blame you mostly for that. It's kind of hard to manage. Like they just um. I don't have a feel for where people are going to position themselves, especially when, like, flanking is a thing. Uh, I don't have a clear idea of where people will go when I order them to attack. Here we go. There were a couple, whoa, hello. There were a couple of times that Varric, um, in, not Varric, Aveline in particular, would do strange, like, maneuvers and move herself around the battlefield. Uh, this actually, this person's actually become a slightly better target. Ooh, that caught both of them. That was nice. I, I forgot that I can hit both now. So now I can hit both these guys, because they're in like a tight arc. That's awesome. Hey, you guys are okay, right? Yep, we're okay. Gonna knock them back into, um... Ow. I actually really like doing that. <laughs> Is that it? I thought it was one more. Guess not. Bracket. Lovely. A single button for take all is appreciated, by the way. Thank you. History of Kirkwall. Okay, cool. We're into this now. Whoa. We're into this now, right? As the Imperium's borders slowly receded after the devastation of the First Blight and the subsequent barbarian invasion, many outposts in the area, known today as the Free Marches, were cut off from centers of power. Numerous warlords tried consolidating the region into a single kingdom, but resistance prevailed. Amirius held out for almost a century until it fell to a slaver's of 25 ancient. It was not the first such revolt Amirius suffered, but it was not. But it was the last. It started when an Alamari slave named Rudan. Radun began earning popularity and power by pushing for better conditions. Radun's growing influence prevented the magisters from touching him, but eventually they had him poisoned. Furious, a group of Ra Radun supporters stormed the gallows and were massacred, and so began a bloody year-long rebellion. The city burned, and wealthy Hightown was sacked. The magisters hung before cheering crowds. Emirius assumed the new name of Kirkwall, Kirk meaning black after its jetstone cliffs. The new city plunged into anarchy for over a decade, and its defences fell into ruin. Kirkwall has been conquered many times since, the city's own independence suffering since the freeing of its slaves. Hmm. Wonder how close we are to the Imperium here. I'm not really, uh, too familiar with the layout. Did that bastard get Someone's left a surprise here for us. I knew I should have slit his throat. We're on your- I was gonna say, okay. Everybody's got a whole position. In fact, fuck this shit. Move back. It's too much in the unknown in that in that area. So just, just kill this guy and let them come to us and let their traps all be for nothing. Okay. Nice. Whoa! What just happened? Oh, of course, one of them's a mage. Um. Okay. What a hawk. Master slaver. Okay. There's a couple minions that we should take down. And then. Okay, retreat further, retreat further. You guys okay? Okay, okay, important question. Can he see you? No. And he's not gonna come to us. So you two should kill this guy. Okay, he's coming now. He's a maze that makes him really dangerous, but he also has definitely the most health. You two should lay into him. Okay, he has he has little enough health that I feel think that we can actually take a risk and just go at him. Good job, Bethany. It's a good fireball. Ah, shielded. But your minions have fallen, dude. You do realize what this means for your ass. Oh no, one's there. Ah, now he's done. Back again. <laughs> oh, he went invisible. Where'd he go? 
here. No spell can teleport shit. That is in the lore. I'm calling shenanigans on that. Out of that guy's like Olympic level sprinter. Here he comes again. Aveline and Hawk go this way. Uh, he's not doing anything. He protected that guy. Can we even attack him? Oh shit. Ferric went down. I think he's about to go down. Get a health potion down you. Stop stumbling, stop stumbling, stop stumbling in health. There we go. Evelyn, you did the same thing. This is going hairy surprisingly quickly. Well, we have healing potions, you know. Why isn't this quick thing working? Well, now it is. Bethany, you need to be helping. Fire and ice, obey me. Okay, everybody stop holding position now, please. Oh, get together. It's just him now. So go in. This is wearing on me. Go in. We've unfortunately lost Barrett. So we can't. If we're not care, whoa! If we're not careful, then we're just gonna set off those traps. So we need to try and keep him like as immobile as possible. Hawk, uh, you'll probably hold out okay. No, I don't believe you will actually. Okay, where'd you go then? Over there. You're doing something, but I don't know what it is. It's kind of unfortunate that we lost Barrack. I can't keep this place. It's okay, we have a second. Ha! Okay. Nah. Come on. No! You. you just... <laughs> body slammed your sister. Okay. Now this is the first time where I feel like stamina's been a bit of an issue. It'd be nice to like fuck. It'd be nice to like corral that guy a little bit. That feels like a slowness thing. I don't know what that does exactly. If it does damage. I'm out of breath. Nobody cares. Yeah, baby. Feel my righteous shield bash you through fury. When you're down, you're down. <laughs> awesome. Let's see that injury, huh? Where do we see that? Um, you have a like status there which says injured. I suppose let's heal that. Oops. Heal it. There you go, buddy. Sorry to let you fall on that one. It got confusing for a second. Well, for more than a second, really. You got fucking like <laughs> out of hand. But we did it! Imperial Blood Helm, mm. And it's a very good item which I cannot wear. Speaking of, I should be wearing that helmet of mine. I completely forgot about that. There you go. Bit more armor. Simple chest. Oh, he's just leveled up. We can crank that strength to get him that nice helmet. Battle Ask. Mask of the Imperium, which requires um, dexterity and cunning. Restriction Ian Hawk for some reason. Um, but he's not a rogue, so we're pretty much born there. Well. So let's level a man. Attributes, first of all. Bit in strength, bit in constitution. I've heard those are kind of like the big things to go for, so let's do that. Your health isn't much of a problem, but I would quite like you doing more damage. And... Confirm. Now, abilities. This is where shit gets exciting, though. Let's see. First of all, Tremor. Push a warrior and push to be pushed back. Nearby enemies are knocked back as the warrior slams a weapon to the ground. Great for threat management. Like, that will draw enemies right to me. Anything good here? Perception. Constant awareness of the battlefield. Has a shield equipped. Enemies receive no bonus for attacking them from behind. What's this? Uh, extra damage from critical hits is good too. Scatter. Clears a forward arc, throwing enemies back. And this. Spins into a vicious assault that inflicts significant damage and throws enemies back. So that's like an area of effect. Um... Is it though? Like, or is it more than, I don't know. Uh, 
that's pretty tempting. In fact, there's a few things here which are pretty tempting. Vanguard. Let's see, might heavy swings that cleave through foes. Oh, so these are modes. Control. Warrior fights with discipline, not anger, making every swing count. Attack plus 10%, uh, and it's like a sustained ability. It's pretty tempting. But maybe I should get something in defense. Are these all modes? Hmm. Shrugging off damage for a brief moment and pushing back against any foe that who attacks. Two times physical force versus attacking enemies. Damage resistance. It lasts for five seconds. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Turn the blade. Many warriors choose to endure their fuels at full hit. Some prefer to deflect the damage instead. This mode cannot be used at the same time as Elemental Aegis. See, I like that. I like the idea of the character like not getting hit as, as his form of defense, as opposed to just tanking the damage. Mm-hmm. Defense plus 10%. Um, 20% of stamina. I've kind of heard that defense is a little bit useless. Uh, so maybe I will... Um, maybe I'll shy away from that for now. Raise the guard, steady the poor... Steady the foot. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Um, how about this? Bolster. Sealing for the Battle of the Warrior takes deep breath to regain some stamina. So, stamina regeneration, 5%. Activate the ability. Fellow combatants, briefly reducing other parties' mana or stamina regeneration rates and lending them the benefits of might control. Turn the blade or elemental ages if the warrior currently has one of those sustained modes activated. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. So, that's designed to be paired with, like, either Vanguard or Defender. Hmm. And as for this stuff, we obviously like need to like go out of our way to unlock it. This stuff is cool, but I'm not like big on it for now. Let's see. Well, I'll make a decision about this back in a moment. I'm thinking that we'll probably be getting perception eventually anyway. Unless I'm really tempted to get like a, a like a, a another attack, and that's probably what I'll get next time. Getting this for now, especially in like down here, is probably going to be really useful. Let's do that. Let me have it. Nice. Oh, you're not Ian. Yes, silly Billy. Let's get back doing some stuff. Really? That's it? We could have just done that the whole time. <laughs> what What did you do? There's even an animation for that. What's this? Um. History of the Circle. Didn't we read this? Da, 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 da. I think we saw that by like hierarchy of the circle instead. We're almost there though. The rest of this house to explore, but we defeated. Um, that's the vault. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. Oh, I guess you got friendship from doing this mission. That should do it. Now this is more like it. This is what more. This is more what I expected to see. Torn slaver invoice, heirloom Amel protective sigils. Ooh, nice. Grandfather Amel's will and testament. This is it! Grandfather's will! Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. Okay, well, uh, we want to do a bit more exploring. I still want to look around. Alright, but hurry, 